So what's up YouTube? Um, yet again, another Harley Benton guitar. This one's the JA Jaguar. I'm not saying any model name here. I'm saying a, an animal. This is a Jaguar style guitar. Can't possibly have a patent on or trademark on Jaguar. That's an animal. So um, for you that want a an authentic replica or clone or cheap, whatever, of the Jag style guitar. You're not gonna look in the 129 euro range, are you? Because that would just be ridiculous. We're talking about a guitar that's cheaper than single pickups in some of my other guitars, okay? The average pickup in my high-end guitars costs about 180 to 200 euro, one of them. This is 129 bucks for the whole damn thing. So don't be ridiculous and say, it's a crap guitar, it doesn't sound good, it's blah, 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 all these things that you're going to write in the comments. Please consider that this is 129 euro, including fucking shipping. If you want it to the US, I think you spend 30 bucks, I think. So they do ship worldwide. Then you're going to say the typical things, well, you work for Toman, wrong. I do demos for their website which doesn't mean I'm going to say this stuff is good because then you don't trust me anymore. Um, these they send to me, I do videos for you guys and I send them back and I might get to keep one, which would be very nice. Um, so and then you say, well, they set them up specifically for you. So they are awesome. I've seen the guy in the Toman warehouse opening every single Harley Benton guitar that comes from China, setting them up and if there's any flaws that he thinks are too big, they go into a bin. There's a big bucket with guitars in it that are, you know, not sellable. So uh, they weed out the bad ones and no, they don't set them up specifically for me. Um, he sets up every single guitar coming from China. That's crazy work. Um, you might, of course, get one that is not perfect, that might have sat, sat in the warehouse for too long and something happened to it. Who knows? Um, I've been asked, what do I do to them before I do the demos? I do nothing. I take them out of the box. They sit in the studio for a while. I'll play them once in a while. I'll play them while I teach. I'll play them for tracks and all this. And then I do the demo. I'm not a fiddle around with guitars dude who immediately goes and, you know, adjusts the neck and all this. This is the way it came out of the box three months ago when I got it. Um, if you're wondering why there's a stack of Warwick speakers back there, first of all, because they're awesome with the LWA1000 right here, the little amp. But also my girlfriend Leslie is sleeping behind them and we didn't want, you know, you guys to ask why is there a dead woman on the couch. So this is the Don't See Leslie Warwick speaker wall. Awesome! Um... We're talking about a Jag style guitar, which is kind of a weird body shape for me. And you can see it's, it is top heavy. Okay. Because kind of like on an SG, everything seems to be moved a little bit to the left. So everything is, if you, if you're used to a S type guitar or T type guitar or even LP type guitar. My God, why can't I fucking say Strat and Telly and Les Paul? That is so fucking ridiculous. I'm sorry for saying fuck. If you don't like the word fuck, you might want to switch to a different channel because I say it. Some guy has been banned from the gear page because he posted my clones video in which I say, this is fucking good amp or whatever I say. And um, the Christians on that website were offended and kicked him off the forum. Seriously. I don't say fuck your mama or anything. I say this is a fucking good amp. It's an adjective. It's an adverb. It's a, I don't know. I don't know grammar. Come on. If I'm, as musicians, we can't say the word fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. There you go. If you've got a problem with this, switch the channel, unsubscribe. Um, so, this actually is beautifully done. It's got a, I'm going to say, some kind of ash or who knows, base wood. I'm going to say some kind of ash. Who knows? Wood, but it's uh, actually a nicely done sunburst. Not the biggest sunburst guy, but it's nicely done. The pickguard looks a little bit meh. 
Even my mom said that. My mom was like, well, the Picard kind of wrecks it. Um, because it's supposed to be tortoise shell, but it's not a true tortoise shell. Um, it's, uh, how do you say this? Um, it's a photo tortoise, because an actual tortoise shell pickup will cost you about 50 bucks. Um, so this is a three-layer kind of pickup, but the top layer is a photo of the tortoise shell. So it doesn't look as realistic as you would want that. It's not the actual swirly plastic. But the um, sunburst is nicely done. On the back, we have a sunburst with my lights in it. Lights! So the back is sunbursted, which is crazy it, at 129 bucks. Then we've got the neck, which is maple. Not glued, the headstock's not glued on because it's straight, so you can actually do this rather inexpensively. So it's a one piece. We have vintage style tuners right here. Which, out of all the Harley Benton guitars I have, they're not the best tuners. They are a little bit harder to tune. So, uh, uh, on the um, CST 24HB, killer tuners. One of the best tuners I've ever operated. Absolutely great. Here, they're a little bit, you know, a little bit hard, harder to operate. Uh, it is fully tunable. It's totally okay. At 129 bucks, we have to uh, assume that you may beginners buy this guitar, and you definitely need tuners that allow you to tune it, even though you don't know your shit. You can do it, but they're not the best out of the bunch. Um, as I said, it's a little bit top-heavy. That's normal for this style. Uh, nut is good. All strings go totally straight. On the um, SE550, uh, the slits were not perfectly in line with how the string was going. Um, we have a binding. The um, inlays look fine. When we look at real detail, uh, the binding, of course, um, hides the fret ends, but the frets don't, there's, there's nothing sticking out, it's nicely done. This is the, the typical, you know, I do this test. If we look at faults, obviously the pickguard isn't perfect, because it looks kind of fake. I'm thinking, you know, maybe a white one would have been, white or black one would have been better. Um, there's some dirt here in the binding, right there. I don't know if you can see this. We're looking at insane detail now. Binding dirt. Um, three position switch. Volume tone. We have a traditional style. I mean, there's, of course, if you want the real thing, I don't know if, if this bridge is traditional for a jack. I'm not familiar with uh, 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 jack style guitars. Um, there you might have, I, I don't know what bridges you have on those. I have no clue. Um, this looks as if it's crooked, but that's probably been done for intonation. There's probably a reason to that. I don't think that's a mistake. Um, you, we have two Wilkinson style, uh, not Wilkinson style, Wilkinson made uh, P90s, which I like if you don't know about this. P90s, they all pretty much only come in cream and black and always kind of stick out. They're not the prettiest pickups. They're not the most subtle pickups on any guitar. Um, they are single calls, so they have buzz and hum, but they are very fat sounding, a little bit more high output single calls. Of course, I might be completely wrong about this. They might have low output too. They are the fatter type of single call. As for the setup, I'm going into my Clons amp, which right now is set up because it can be several amps at once. It's set up to be a, a deluxe type clean sound and a Marshall type uh, JCM sound on the two channels. I have the Devil Drive, from Solid Gold Effects in front of it, the Jeff Waters Devil Drive. Very, very nice overdrive and kind of borderline distortion. And even tight H9 in the effects loop, which I'm going to set up to be a spring reverb for now. But we're going to listen to this fully clean, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Very clean, it's a very clean sound. Cleaner than the TE90QM, the kind of hollow body thin line. Takes a while to get used to the fact that everything kind of is removed to the left, okay? Because the F seems to be a little bit further out here, but 
well, it takes five minutes and you're good. Which also means that the 12th fret is kind of much more easily accessible because it's right above, uh, right below you and not over here. So on a guitar like this, you hope that it's tunable, you hope that it has good intonation. Intonation's fine. I already checked that in the impressions video. Um, how many frets do we have? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 frets. So that's traditional, 21 frets. Middle. Nice spank there. Let's turn the spring reverb on. Nice spank to it, really a mature sound, not a kiddie guitar at all. If you think about adding a P90 sound to your arsenal, or adding a Jack style guitar for your arsenal because it looks badass and kind of grungy and... <laughs> Why not? And in the back. Usually you wouldn't use this type of guitar for, you know, high gain stuff. We're gonna go through everything. You get kind of a dirty, grungy, clean sound out of it. Let's crank the gain on the amp just a little bit and get a dirtier clean sound. Oh. With the devil drive? high end that's the p90 not a lot of well let's uh, switch to the drive channel and see how a different kind of amp structure works with it ah there's our drive to push this over the cliff. Clearly a very defined sound, you gotta say this. Obviously even more if we add my tape delay to it and let's see.
raising a threat, goddammit. <laughs> Have we detuned? Have we lost tuning? Let's check. Of course, we're checking with the TC Electronics Polytune. Let's see, here we go. I generally went down just a tiny bit. So there, it is tunable. 129 bucks. Let's go bottom line. Here's my two cents. Well, here's what I think. Traditionally, Jag style guitars are not my cup of tea. Okay? Uh, they're really not. So, I was amazed when I recorded the track that you saw at the beginning of how much clarity it has, how much it could sing and scream with the high gain. Um, very, very impressed when I actually played it. If I get over my aversion to the shape and the creaminess of the P90s, which for me really doesn't work with the sunburst, and um, the fact that everything seems to be really slightly removed to the left in the really long scale, or if, if you get over this, 129 bucks, people! 100... 129 euro! Yes, the... Schlagbrett. Mm -hmm. The pickguard. The pickguard's really ugly. It's, it, it looks fake. Uh, going with black or white would have been a better idea. They're trying to make this look, you know, classy and boutique but it is, it looks faded. Um, the fact that this is actually also, you know, sunburst in the back is an added bonus at 129, which is ridiculous. Vintage style tuners that work, they're not the greatest, but they work. The neck is very fat, it's a big ass C. So if you need something subtle, this is not it. Um, it, 129 bucks because they're coming direct from China. Any other brand, you will spend at least double on this, probably three times to get that sound and that quality. And I'm sticking to that. You can say whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Um, 129 bucks. Ultra unbeatable. If you want a guitar to beat up, get this. If you want to dig into P90s and find out what they're about, get these. If you just want to get a set of P90s, get these, rip them out. Um, whatever. Insane. 129 bucks. For a whole guitar. With the Dario strings that are five bucks themselves. Wow. If you want to buy it, please. Be kind to me. The only thing I'm getting for these is that I can recommend them to you and possibly you buy them through my link, which means I get about 50 cents if you buy this. But hey, everything helps. So um, if you are so kind and you want this, I'm not saying buy it, but if you do, please use my link. That would be very kind of you because I put a shitload of work into these things. So I see ya. <laughs> Sunset in September